Chiqui, chiqui, chiqui. Chiqui, chiqui. In the off season, it's good to keep uh, your charter practice up. I've just got a couple of uh, little pelicans and the lower one is a, in addition to another one that I have, I just purchased. I find uh, the rifle ones seem to have more power than the handheld ones, but the handheld ones are pretty handy. Part of the fun. <laughs> just got the new one this year to try the new one out on. Squinted and a little high. Won't be an excuse in the situation. Just a little bit high on that one. Not much. Just needs a little heat. This one. This one I like because it has a safety. My old long rifle had a safety. This new one doesn't. That makes it quicker. And this one's been shooting off. I don't have to probably run it again. way off to the uh, to the left so it's def definitely got to be lined up again and see how I've got to uh, fix those up to get them right on and the whole reason of this this is to uh, just have a little chat and that chat is the oh, purpose of going out and not only condition myself to the cold but just to have a little chat and that chat is about uh, being prepared You can plan and pack all the gear you want. You pack anything you can find. You can watch all the how-tos and the what-if videos you want. But there's one thing that you got to have that's going to separate you, and that is the will. The strong mind. Not to panic. Not to get cabin fever. Not to fall victim to loneliness, depression. Because when it happens, you're not going to survive. You have to have a strong mind. You have to have that will. Those who have beat the odds, they understand this. They know what I'm talking about. Life experiences are going to make you the survivor. If you've been through it, they have some of the best tools to make it for what may come your way or may be coming our way. I can have, as you can see, no power. And I can live off the grid. I can have my generator, my solar, my propane. I can go to, soon I'm going to try the wind power. I can have my wood, my diesel heaters, my propane, my generators, my wood heat. I can have my water tanks and barrels and creek and pond and 
bottled water, all the tools I need, the axes, the mills, everything, even the woodland to get the resources in the farm. But if I don't have that strong mind, that work ethic, that power to overcome, it'll mean nothing. So think about that. Think. Think. Can you do without? Because it's going to be, if, it's going to be quieter than this. Just food for thought. Might be a good day for a stew. Let's take care of all.